talk about the Pro 12 single motor commercial vacuum cleaner. We believe this is one of the greatest vacuum cleaners ever built. Let me give you some of the reasons. First of all, when you go to carry your vacuum cleaner, there's also many different ways to carry it. With this unit, you carry it, put it on a maid's cart, and all you have to do is pick it up from the front. If you're carrying it up and down the stairs, you pick it up from the back. And you notice when I pick it up from the back, that it tips automatically. So when it tips like this, when you go up and down stairs, you don't have to worry about the um, unit actually hitting the stairwell. And then you have the handle, which you could carry it from the handle, and <coughs> it's very, very soft material underneath the handle grip. So you have soft material here, soft material here, and then soft material in the back. So we call that soft touch. So no matter where you handle the machine and you go to pick it up, you're going to have soft touch. Right? Now, one of the biggest things that is a problem with vacuum cleaners is as they, as they wear, the number one thing that usually goes is the cord. We designed this so it's very simple. You notice that the light is on on our switch. That means that we're getting current from the wall to the cord. So if for some reason the unit didn't stop, I mean didn't start, then we would know that it wasn't in the cord. But if we saw no light and we were plugged in, we know immediately to go to the cord. Most cords are hardwired into the ergonomic or the, or the handle up on the top or hardwired into the unit. But our cord is a detachable cord. All you have to do is unplug it and change it so there's no screwdrivers no mechanic or anything necessary to change the cord. And what we've done on the cord so that there's no strain on the cord is we have a strain relief on the top so when the person using it pulls on the cord they don't have to worry about the cord and the, uh, hitting anywhere with this where it's plugged into the unit. But for some reason that wasn't in. We actually have another strain relief on the back of the machine which in a few seconds I'll show you an exciting reason why we do that. So. Um, part of our cleaning technique. Okay? So now we have a 40-foot cord. 40-foot cord is the hospitality standard. Uh, not too short, not too long, and that's one of the things they want. Now the other, and a couple other features, is this machine has an adjustable handle, so we'll go up and down, depending on a person's height, you can control it. We have what we call a quick release, so when you have the cord all wrapped up, you want to take it off all at once, you just turn it and it'll come off, and it's nice and big gap, so it'll actually hold all 40 feet of the cord. Okay? Now, one thing is people always like our attachments. So in our unit, we have a stretch hose that will go to 6 feet, actually. And then we have an additional 2.5 feet on the pipe, so you can actually get way up to the handle, you can way down to the floors. Uh, you're able to cover a wide area with this stretch material. Okay? Now, what I'm going to also do is I'm going to simulate a full bag. A lot of times people will run a machine without a bag in it, right? <coughs> or they'll run it with, I should say, clogged hose or a full bag. And this is what will happen. Not only would you hear that whistling noise, which we call it the whizzo, which is our harmonic type device, but we also, the unit itself is shut off. So if somebody were using this machine and they ignored the whizzo noise, the machine would actually shut off. So you can turn it off, turn it back on, and now you're in business. Now if you notice, when I turn the machine on, and it's in the upright position, the machine is not moving, because this is a single motor machine, the motor being down here in the lower piece of the unit. Right? This little piece here, when actually when the unit is up, uh, when the cover is in the upright position, it actually lifts the brush off the carpet. And this way here, so as you're doing with attachments, you never have to worry about um, the unit moving while you're in motion using the tools. Now, another big feature is going to be the, uh, the bag situation. You take the cover off and go to change the bag. If you notice this little piece on the side, pull this piece out, change the bag, and the bag will come out nice and easy. This little piece over here moved to the side and did that so that if somebody goes up to the unit and tries to shut it without a bag in it, this piece will be in the way. So you never have to worry about anyone using it without a bag. Also, while I have the cover open, this is the standard filter cartridge that goes with the machine. You can actually get a HEPA or ALPA, and the HEPA would be red and the ALPA would be blue. So you could have 
different types of levels of filtration that you wanted to use. Right? Now, when the bag is full, there's actually you'll never have to breathe it because when they go to pull it, you go to pull it out, this will actually cover open the hole, so you never see, touch, or breathe the dirt. And you never have to worry about any dust leakages. When I go to put the bag in, you'll also notice right here when I push this down that that yellow piece will actually go down inside the bag. So when I put this piece inside, immediately that turns over. And when you go to drop that down, now it's down inside the bag. And there's several ribs on the cover. The reason why we put all these ribs in this cover is that this bag is filling up. It actually doesn't, it doesn't lose power because the air is moving in and around these grooves and notches all around the inside. So it, until the bag is completely full, you don't get any power loss. And that's how simple it is to put the cover on. Okay, now this piece down here in the bottom, this is your height adjustment. And this you can move from left to right. And when you go to the left, that means you're going to have a, like a commercial grade carpet. And to the right, that will actually for a, for a higher, higher pile carpet. This white frame you see here is actually, it says my name is Pro 12, what's yours? And the purpose behind this is so it's used in the hotel. The person who's responsible for this machine can have their name on it. You never have to worry about whose it is, or you put what floor it goes to. And then over here on this side is the screen door for a secondary filter. Right? And this is so if any dust ever should escape from the machine, it'll be trapped before it gets out and back into the air. Now, when I turn this machine on, you'll note right here that you'll see a, a green light. And what's actually underneath that green light is a is a circuit board that actually measures, it has two magnets on it, and it actually measures um, the speed of the belt. In other words, the RPMs. There's two belts on this unit, and the way this sets up, on the, the larger belt, which actually goes on the pulley, and this one here, is for the smaller belt, it's actually this way inside the unit. Okay, this goes to the brush roll. So as this magnet is spinning around, and it's about 4,000 RPMs, for any reason that changes, it triggers the circuit board and tells the circuit board there might be a problem and the machine will automatically shut off. Because of this feature, this is why we call these lifetime belts because we're not worried about you ever breaking the belt or wearing the belt. So this is called a cog belt. It's got little teeth on it and there's no slippage and it'll go and go and go and go and you never have to worry about replacing belts. Now, to get inside this unit is a fabulous setup. All you have to do is hit the piece that says quick disconnect and now you actually have the unit in two sections. So what I'm going to do is turn it over and I'm going to show you the bottom piece. Okay, now I want you to notice this is the bottom of the unit. Notice we have two fairly large wheels. These are bigger in circumference than the competitive wheels. The reason why we have them so big is so that they'll glide easily over thresholds and it's much easier to go through deeper carpet. And we put a bearing on each side of these wheels so that the wheel will float and will, will, you know, will move nice and smoothly. Now if you notice this little yellow door here, this is actually a trap door so that if anything was stuck inside the unit, all you'd have to do is put this door open. And it's only going to be from here to here, so it's very, very easy access. Because you can see already that we have this part exposed, and the wand actually sits inside this, so it's very simple. If anything were beyond that point stuck, you would have no problem being able to get at it. Now, our bottom plate has what we call a micro-sweep. The micro-sweep is this nice, soft material so that when you go from a carpet to a tile or a wood floor, you make no changes, and this micro sweep keeps all the small sand and grit and everything right in the front of the machine. Now you also notice these grooves and notches on the front of the bottom plate, and that's to allow for sand, I mean for the air and any sand to be able to get in, and that'll carry it up into the bag. And these two bars here on this unit are called the cord protector, and that's to keep you from having to worry about 
running over a cord. Now, the height adjustment wheel is this wheel here. So when I was using it before, you notice the wheel going up and down. Might be hard to see, right? But as it, if you adjust it from the other side, that's what lifts the unit off of the carpet. Now these two screws here are designed so that if you need to get into where the brush roller is, all you need is a coin rather than having to worry about going back and getting a screwdriver. You make a couple of quick turns, right? And then this goes from here and it pops open. Now you notice the screws don't come out because there's a stopper on the other side. This way here you never have to worry about losing screws. Now one of the biggest things that people always find it difficult is to change a belt, to change a brush roller, or to change the bristles on the brush roller. By taking the roller out, you have to disassemble the belt. But not so with this unit. All you do is pop it up, give a little twist, and now you have taken the brush completely out of the unit, and the belt is as it was, and it's right there. Go to put it back in. All you do is push it in, new belt, new, new brush roller, and now you're back in business. Isn't that a great idea? Same thing when you put this back on, there are little snaps, it'll snap in, just turn it with a quarter. Right. Now I've just showed you how to change a brush roller without touching the belt and without touching a screwdriver. Fabulous, right? Some of the other great features about this unit is the sound. This unit is below around 68 decibels, which is one of the quietest units in all, of all vacuum cleaners. Uh, that are in the upright type design. Now to give you an idea how well it works, once over, once back, everything is going to come off nice and easy. And if you also notice this ergonomic handle, this was specifically designed because we took it to many different focus groups, uh, mostly in Europe, but we asked different people what they liked and didn't like in a handle. We tried all different types. And this design came out six out of ten times was the, was the favorite. And the one that showed least wear and tear on the user. Now on the bottom, back of this, this handle is a little roller wheel. And we put this wheel on here so that if the unit were to tip over, it would protect the floor or whatever surface that it fell on. Now, once I notice I hit the yellow pedal, get the handle down, to show you how well this works. You can pull it, you slide it, this way hang at the edge, you blend the loose things all the time. Very, very easy to maneuver. Now one of the one of the major features of a single motor unit, when you have the motor and the head down below, as the bag gets filled, a lot of people ask me, what's the weight of this machine? Well, what's really important is the weight of the handle. When this handle is in my hand, it's actually 1.2 pounds. And because of the design of the unit, as the bag starts to fill, you get very little increase of weight to the handle. So it's very, very nice and easy. And no matter whether you have two or three pounds of dirt, it'll still be just as easy to put fingertip type control. Nice and simple. Anybody who's using the machine will not get tired or uh, worn out too quickly, you know, before the time.